Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and there are issues with Windows 11 already. Now, these aren't horrible issues. They are issues, nonetheless, that came out with the OS that have to be corrected at, you know, at some point in time. And it looks like the resolution in these, as you can see, is supposed to be available in October for at least these AMD issues. We'll go through some of the other known issues that Microsoft has as well. But um, on to the AMD ones, the, you know, they're talking about the applications with sensitive to memory subsystem access time may be impacted and expect performance impact of 3 to 5% in effective applications and 10 to 15% in possible games, commonly eSport games. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would stick with Windows 10 a little bit longer before you were to jump on to the Windows 11 um, train here that Microsoft's trying to get rolling. And, you know, just keep in mind, this may not be the ex all extensive list. This is what has come out so far. And there probably is more changes to go through and do as well. And only time will tell. And the more people that get on Windows 11, that will also help out. But I'm not saying I'll jump on it and, you know, see where it's all at. Let's take it with a balanced approach here and let's see where it's going. I'm waiting for these fixes as well. I did put this on a couple computers. Um, so both happen to be AMD platforms in here. I also have it on an Intel platform, my old Surface Pro. But the, you know, some of these, you know, performance impacts, I really hope that they get fixed soon because um, it can affect me depending upon what I'm doing. So there's also another one, the UEFI. CPP C2 preferred core may not preferably schedule threads on the fastest processor core. So if you are, you know, running something that's on a single thread or very few CPU threads, you probably will have slightly reduced performance here. They didn't put a percentage on what that performance is, but AMD said that if you're greater than an eight core processor and above the 65 watt TDP, you are going to see this. So, um, yeah, that's something to keep in mind too, right? If that's uh, if that's going to be addressed here soon, Microsoft or AMD here said that a software update is in development to address the issue with expected availability in October. Now, it didn't say Windows update, a software update, so maybe that's a driver thing. I don't know where where that's going to be deployed. I wish it would have been a little bit more clear on that. Maybe it will, will be pushed through Windows updates. But um, just keep an eye out on that. And if you're already on this and you don't feel like jumping back to Windows 10, they will be coming out this month. But that is an option for you as well if you want to go back to Windows 10. I'm not one to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If it's working good enough, I will deal with it and hopefully the fix is out. If it's not, it, I would rather do a clean install, but that's me personally. But you do have that option to go back. Microsoft does have a 10-day... 10-day check so if you don't like Windows 11 just jump back and go to Windows 10 and uh, hopefully everything's working right you know I'm always scared about when you jump back into OS what can all go wrong but that's a, that is an option for you as well so there is other known issues and these have been kind of posted since the release date or very close to it and one is the compatibility have been found with Oracle's VirtualBox on Windows 11. So if this is something you're running, don't update yet. Um, wait for this to kind of get all fixed and um, get a patch out for that. Compatibility with K Intel Killer and SmartByte networking software. So if you're running some of these softwares, right, the networking software that is supposed to, uh, you know, I, I believe the killer stuff is to actually help... Um, with like even better with gaming and proprietary gaming packets, etc. That is having some compatibility issues, so I would definitely skip that. And then the last one is the I don't even know how to pronounce this cock cog something browser. Um, yeah. So whatever that is, I've never used it, so forgive me for butchering the name. But this one is unable to open on some devices and may cause other issues or errors. Part of me thinks that if this browser is having issues, what other browsers that may or may not have been tested also have issues. So just um, use that with a uh, you know with some caution when you're on Windows 11. 
Now, I do, as we can see here, Microsoft only has these three issues when we even, on the A and B side, you have more. So, yeah. Um, I, I think, you know, you got these AMD issues. I don't think the Microsoft one is an extensive list. However, you know, you can always go back and I will post this page as well in the description below. So you can go through and just check to see if you're having any issues, if it's on here, if not, File some feedback with, through the feedback hub. I think that's still on here with Microsoft as well. So, yep, the feedback hub is still can be open. So, open that up, and uh, I have it down here. I don't even know what it looks like um, there, and you can then support and write in feedback. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, or if you're having issues with Windows 11 as well. I love to hear those and see if there's a workaround or if this is something that needs to be reported back to Microsoft. But until next time, I really appreciate you guys supporting and helping this channel grow. It's been awesome to see all of you guys' support. Until next time, God bless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.